I'm super cool. It's true. <laughs> I am super cool, but that's not what I meant to say. I'm not the best booktuber around. I don't read the popular books. <laughs> It's Jay and I'm here with the Reader's Problems tag. It was created by About to Read, so I will leave her link down below and you can check that out if you're interested. There's a total of 11 questions. I'm totally just gonna read them off my phone because they're pretty long and I have a terrible memory. So without further ado, let us get started! The first question is, you have 20,000 books on your TBR. How in the world do you decide what to read next? I usually just kind of pick what I'm in the mood for. If I've heard a lot of good things about a book, I'll pick it up. A lot of my books are like not well known because a lot of them are from Goodreads giveaways or things that I've found in thrift stores, so they're not really talked about that much. So I just kind of grab what I feel like grabbing. Whatever floats my boat for that day or moment in time. <laughs> Question number two is, you are halfway through a book and you're just not loving it, do you quit or are you committed? I am incapable of DNFing a book. I can't do it. I always hope that it's going to get better, so I'm just like, no, I'm going to push through this and I'm going to love it by the end. I never do. I never love it in the end. I should just put it down, but I don't. I'm always like, I've gotten this far. I can't succeed! And it's just not worth it. Question three is... The end of the year is coming and you're so close but so far away on your Goodreads reading challenge. Do you try to catch up and how? I was super close to finishing my Goodreads goal for 2015. I was 42 out of 50 books and I just didn't care that enough to push and finish it. I it's not that big of a deal to me. I mean, it would be cool if I actually completed it. I'm hoping to complete it this year and doing 50 books again, but I don't care that much. I'm super lazy, so... Yeah, no. Question four is, the covers of series you love do not match. How do you cope? I don't really care. A lot of my covers don't match, or like some of the books are like smaller than the other. Is it really that big of a deal, guys? Is it really? I mean, I guess if you're like a book collector, which I consider myself a book collector, but I don't care that much. Question five is, everyone and their mother loves a book you really don't like. Who do you bond with over shared feelings? I usually only talk to my mom about books and you guys, I guess. So if you guys hate a book that I hate, then we will get along great. Question number six is, you're reading a book and you are about to start crying in public. How do you deal? I don't really cry at books. I think I've cried at two or three so far. So this isn't really a big issue for me, but I'd probably just cry and then ask someone for Kleenex. Because I'm a gross crier. Hey boys, how you doing? <laughs> Question 7 is, a sequel of a book you love just came out, but you've forgotten a lot from the prior novel. Will you reread the book, skip the sequel, try to find a synopsis on Goodreads, or cry in frustration? This is what happened to me with the House of Night series. I got to book 8, and then the ninth book took forever to come out, and now I'm like, I want to read them to finish the series, because there's 12 now, I think. And I just don't want to read 8 books again, because I just... No, it's just so time consuming when I could be reading other books. Question number eight is, you do not want anyone, anyone, borrowing your books. How do you politely tell people nope when they ask? I just say no. <laughs> or I'll like be like, yeah, for sure, and then never mention it again. It works every time. Question number nine is reading ADD. You've picked up and put down five books in the last month. How do you get over your reading slump? If I'm in a reading slump, I just don't pick up a book. I just won't do it until I feel like I'm ready and I want to read again. So I guess ignore it. Question 10 is there are so many new books coming out that you're dying to read. How many do you actually buy? This is my life. I buy none of them. Zero percent of them. I go to the thrift store and those are the books I buy because I'm a cheap little girl and therefore I only buy the thrift store books which are not common best-selling books. They're just not. I read books like a year later after they're not popular anymore because that's when people start getting rid of those books. So I buy zero of the books. But I started listening to audiobooks so I'm using my library and therefore I'm getting the new releases so that's how I do it. And the final question, question 11, is after you've bought the new books you can't wait to get to, how long do they sit on your shelf before you get to them? Girl, way too long. I always buy the books and I'm like super excited to read them. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna read this and it's gonna be super awesome and I'm gonna have the best time with this book and then it sits on my shelf and it just sits there and sits there and sits there for like years. And then I'll be looking at my shelves and I'm like, oh, I haven't read that yet. I guess I'll read it. And then I read it. 
Alright guys, so that was the reader's problems tag. I have a lot of problems with my reading. Clearly you've just seen that. I'll leave who I'm tagging down below. Hint, hint, it's you. So film the video please and then tell me and I'm gonna watch it and comment on it and share my love with you because I love you. Okay, bye. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.